Okay, just to point something out real quick, um, I did lose the footage for what this episode was supposed to be. Um, so, unfortunately, as it, as you may or may not know, it is a little bit difficult to record, a re-record, I should say, in Back to the Future the game, because you can't really re-record unless you start the game from scratch, which I didn't really want to do, so instead I'm just going to give you a basic recap of what you need to do. So, after you take down Edna, you need to go over to Jack Duteau and ask him um, where where Emmett Brown is. He will proceed to tell you that it is in the House of Glass, and then you need to go into the House of Glass. Basically, you need to use your puzzle-solving techniques to slide glass so that you'll, like, move on through the glass, and some glasses won't slide unless another glass is out or, or st stuff amongst those lines. And then once you get out, um, you'll have to go over and talk to Jacques Duteau again, and, but then it's actually Doc, so keep that in mind, and then you have to talk to him in a way that he'll get into a fight with you, and then you have to offer him a ticket, to which you will then have to go over to Arthur McFly and tell him that the aquarium guy won't take your ticket. Then you'll go in, and then the bathysphere supposedly won't rise. But then you'll step on the bathysphere hose until and just stay there until Doc actually raises the bathysphere. And it will come out, and then you're completely caught up as to where we are today. If you, if you guys want to see what this looks like in action, let me know, and I'll do my best to start from scratch. But if not, please understand this was once again completely out of my control. We now begin the actual episode. Hey, what's up guys, Give me Magic 13 here, and welcome back to some more Back to the Future, the game. In the last episode, we freed Emmett from Carl S from, hang on, just adjust the mic a little bit. Sorry about that. And in today's episode, we are going to be ensuring that Emmett gets his demo at the exposition done correctly. So, let's unpause and... Patience to all our honored guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress, and it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. Great. Come on, let's get up there. And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? This wouldn't be the first time the world was changed by a kid barely out of That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Raised position, check. Then it looks like all systems are go. Wish me luck. I don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown! Objection! Objection, Your Honor! I hereby demand that the scientific demonstration of one Emmett Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity! I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father! Where is he? Hand him over this instant! Boy. All right, so now we got to reconcile Emmett and Judge Brown. So who do we talk to first, Emmett? Emmett, Shh. don't give me away. Just jump in a levitator and go. What's he gonna do? Shoot me down with an anti-aircraft gun? I thought you weren't scared of your father anymore. When he's in a mood like this, I'd have to be suicidal not to be scared. Come on, Emmett, you can't miss your big moment. You don't look very dignified crouching down there, you know. Better undignified than dead. Come on, Emmett, you can't miss your big moment. You don't look very dignified crouching down there, you know. Better undignified than dead. Let me talk to him. You can't hide from justice! <clears throat> you don't think you can shelter him? Emmett's gone. You just missed him. 
Young man, I've been sitting on the bench of Hill Valley Criminal Court for 15 years. I can smell a dissembler a mile away. Now, are you going to turn him over, or will I have to use force? Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything... So he is up there with you! Thanks a lot. Son, I order you to come down from there this second! Alright, for some reason my microphone does not want to... Jeez, stay still! Alright, I'll fix it afterwards. Um, okay, so now we have to talk to I Judge Brown. I want to speak to my son! Emmett's not ready to talk to you, uh, directly. <laughs> I suppose you're his mouthpiece? I guess so, yeah. You can't talk him out of it. His mind is made up. So, if talking won't work, there's always threshing. Can you two have it out later? You mean after he's gone through with this ridiculous stunt? Yeah. No! Stay right there. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Maybe he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. Fear! So, is your client prepared to make a statement? He says it's no use talking to you. Y you never listen? That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge. Stay right there. And I'm not talking to him. There's no point. You heard him. He said he'll listen to you. Well, at least give it a shot. Father? Son? You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. You don't understand. know what it's like to be Best young. To you don't know what it's You're like to have dreams, to have ambitions. So great and so powerful that they've got a life of their own. And it's all you can do to hang on for dear life while they gallop on where they must. This is America, Pop. And in America, a person doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Well, we talked. Are you happy? And here to play peacemaker again, Pollyanna? Deep down, he's just worried about you hurting yourself. No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted to my spirit. Please, you gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. Look, Your Honor, you don't see it, but there's an awful lot riding on Emmett's demonstration. All the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Look me in the eyes, young man. I expect you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going to be a success? Sure. Uh, sure it will. Ha! You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, and maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Emmett has exceeded his quota for one lifetime. It's my job as his father to see to it there are no more mistakes. See, Your Honor, 
It's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. <laughs> a childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. That's what I'm afraid of. Emmett's just... Stubborn, willful, single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kind of... good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake, those are traits that lead to trouble. He gets them from his mother. Emmett's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but nowadays you, you gotta take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Try moving to a strange country where you don't speak the language with only two dollars to your name. You? You bet your socks, me! And I made out all right, too. How'd your dad feel about it at the time? Papa? He was fit to be tied. He called me a disobedient little... So your father didn't approve of you coming to America? Well, Papa never really understood the younger generation. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to... Tell him I'll listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. And... He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. Well, that's the limit. He's not satisfied with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt, too. Mother isn't at all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like... Oh, skip it. You were starting to say that you're like... Skip it. Can it be that you and your dad? No. Next subject. Emmett, stop being a dope. You've got your pride. Okay, I, I get it. And so does he, but what's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. May I come up? So, you think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? Yes, yes I do. And I'm here to say, if any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. Pop! Oh. You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne. You see, the force field generated by the static accumulator... Marty! Give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his electrokinetic levitator. and thinking about what's going to happen next. I think this may be a slightly extended episode. That or I'll just end it off here with suspense hanging in the air. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a comment on the video if you enjoyed. If you've enjoyed, be sure to click that subscribe button if you have been time. And until next time, this has been the Gaming Magic 13, signing off, saying, hope you have a good day, and I'll catch you guys next time for some more Back to the Future, the game. Goodbye! <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.